Now you can keep it. Let's check something right now. Jeremiah chapter 19, verse of 10. Wow, well, why we are crashing bottles? Miss Miss people don't know why we are crashing bottles. It says, let give me the script. It says, Thou shalt break the bottle in the sight of the men that will go with thee. And what will happen? And thou shalt say unto them, that say yes, the Lord of hosts, even so will I break these people, will I crush these people. They were tormenting God, they were frustrating God. God says, as you crush the bottle, the enemies will be crushed in the name of Jesus. Amen. Somebody shout, crush. Crush. Now let's see another one in the Bible. There are about, about 20 instances in the Bible that bottles were broken, were broken and things happened. Let's go to Judges chapter 7, verse of 19. We all know about the story about um, Gideon. How God came through for Gideon. There was a turn around in the life of Gideon. But it happened because something was broken. Please give me NIV. Let's go. Bottles were breaking. Jars were broken. It says Gideon and the hundred men with him reached the edge of the camp at the beginning of the middle watch. Just after they had changed guards, they blew their trumpet. That's they shouted and they broke the jars. The jars are the bottles that were in their hands. Let's see what happened when they broke the bottles. The three companies blew the trumpets and smashed. What did they smash? The jars grasping the torches in their left hands and holding in their right hands the trumpets they were to blow they shouted a sword for the lord and for gideon what happened while each other held his position around the camp all the midianites after they crashed the bottle all the midianites ran away they cried and they were crying out as they fled my god and the 300 trump 300 trumpets sounded the lord caused the men this is what the place are like the lord caused the men throughout the camp to turn on each other with their sword Amen. so the enemies in the midianite camps they started fighting among themselves i declare in the name of jesus, jesus. that as we cross this bottle My God. by the reason of the message of god jesus. those that have joined together against you My God. they will kill themselves listen any syndicates any, any, i say any syndicates any confederation any association that is working against your destiny jesus. i declare by the message of God yes, they will kill themselves Amen. they will fight among themselves Amen. let God arise on your behalf jesus. somebody shout jesus. jesus say I am free I am free somebody hear me Prophet Daniel why and why what why I said why will God cause our enemies to be crushed before us why if you say God of mercy, why? The reason is because there's another side of God. And that side of God is called, he's the God of payback. That anything designed against your life, there will be a supernatural payback. Listen to me, enough of the pain you have endured. Right. Enough of the agony you have endured. Jesus. Listen, that side of your life is about to move away. God is about to give you a brand new life, a brand new beginning. Because enough of the pain, enough of the frustration, enough of whatever you have gone through. Something shall fire. fire. Psalm 35 verse 7. Psalm 35 verse 7. This is a military week. Psalm 35 verse 7. Look at it. It says, Since they hid a net for me without... Oh, oh somebody, let's read together. It's on there. Let's go. Since they hid and their net for me without cause. It says, without cause, they dug a pit for me. Which simply means, those who are planning for your downfall, you have not done them anything. Right. Without cause, you have not done anything. I declare, whoever that without cause, they have risen against you Jesus. by the message of God. Oh my God. Let the blood of Jesus, Jesus. let the spirit of God, yes, Lord. let the goodness of God. Jesus arise on your behalf Amen. let there be a turn around Amen. in the name of jesus Amen. somebody shout without cause without cause shout without cause
cost without cost sound without cost without cost sound without cost without cost sound without cost without cost i stand on this altar Michael. in the name of jesus jesus those you've been good to them yes those you've been kind to them that's right but without cause they have gathered against you let the god of testimonies let the god of power let the god of grace jesus. let the god of authority yes, rise for you Amen. speak on your behalf Amen. let god arise something shall fire fire i am it you 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 think you think it will end out without cause he says without cause they have dug a pit so right now because he's a god of payback let's see what will happen in verse of eight he says may ruin overtake them by surprise Amen. ah ruin simply means may disaster may calamity may agony overtake them by surprise Amen. okay so 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 a oh, oh, please who oh, please oh, please give me the name what i'm using please yeah he says may ruin overtake them by surprise okay so prophet daniel who are the them overtake them they are those who have spread the nets those who have done the pits but he said god let them take them by surprise I, listen to me i don't know whether it's your mother or your father i don't know whether it's your friend or a far away person may ruin overtake them by I surprise so this a fire whoever is waiting to come to your funeral whoever is waiting to come to your burial ceremony by the blood of Jesus may ruin overtake them by surprise now it says now mind you the verse of seven said they have prepared a net for me look at verse of eight may the nets they have hit and tangled them oh, 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 oh. he said may the same nets they hit for you in verse of seven in verse of eight let them same nets so in other words god says what they plan for you the same thing is returning to them let their net entangle them at this moment it's seven right now by the blood of jesus this moment any location my God. Whoever is there, Jesus. who has an agenda My God. about your life, yes, Lord. I send tender, Amen. I send fire, Amen. I send power, Amen. I send God fire Amen. to arise, yes, Lord. fight for ye Amen. by the message of the living God. Amen. May their nets entangle them. Amen. And the nets Jesus. of defeat. My God. And the nets Jesus. of pain. Jesus. In the nets of agony, in the nets of prey, must your death Jesus. by the blood of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Let it bounce back. Amen. Let the same nets bounce back to them. Amen. Let the same nets entangle them Amen. by fire. Yes, Lord. Say Jesus. Jesus. Now look at this. He says, sit down, sit down. He says, May they, I like this one, fall into the pits now hear me if the bible was making the thing general for any pits the bible would have mentioned according to systematic theology the bible could have mentioned may they fall into a pit it means any pit but the bible says may they fall into the pit which means there is a specific pit they dug for you right. so god says if i'm burying them i'll not do any other pits but because they've already dug a pit already let them fall into that pit that's right that specific pit that's right. listen that bad news they design against you the same bad news let them visit their direction Amen. oh i can't feel somebody Amen. let them visit their direction Amen. by the goodness of god yes. Lord. By the blood of Jesus, Jesus. let it enter into the account. So the shall fire. fire. Now let's go. Psalm 7, verse of 6. Let's go. Let's go. Who is this? This God we seven. He's a God that a time comes that God becomes angry. And when God becomes angry, this is what happens. Arise. Oh Lord. In your anger. Rise up against the rage of my enemies. 
awake my God decree justice he says arise oh God not in your mercy but in your anger rise up against the rage of my enemies in other words God when you are fighting back my enemies don't smile don't laugh God be angry be angry I send the anger of God in every camp of the enemy I declare by your grace by the fire of God let the anger of God I declare in Jesus name if there's any information about you in any of Allah's office, in the Malam's office, Jesus. on any family altar, Jesus. or any family dark room, I send fire there. Uh, if, listen, whoever is handling your case, Lord. I say, whoever is handling your case, I go after them. Let tender strike them. Uh, Let tender strike them uh, by fire, uh, by grace, yes, Lord. by authority. Jesus. In the name of Jesus, uh, sun shall fire. Fire. Listen whoever wants you to bury your children Michael. i go after them Amen. let them crash in jesus name Amen. anybody jesus. that has opened their mouth and they have said for you to make it over their dead bodies i declare so shall it be may you see their dead bodies may you see their dead bodies may you see their dead bodies may you encounter their dead bodies by the fire of God, may you see, may you locate their dead bodies by fire, their dead bodies by grace, their dead bodies by authority, their dead bodies in the name of Jesus, their dead bodies by fire, their own dead bodies by fire, their dead bodies in the name. Of Jesus, some is our fire. fire. Say, hey, hey. Listen, the Bible says when Jesus Christ was born, Herod rose up and Herod said, Because another king has been born after me, I will kill the boy. Then wise men came to locate Jesus. Wise men over 500 people. It's never three wise men. It's never three wise men. They only brought three items by wise men in those days. The Magi, they don't move in, in two and three. They move in companies because they were wealthy, rich astronauts, medical people, med lawyers who come together for an assignment and they travel on a journey. So they don't come in trace. They come in 400, 500. So when they got there, Father Fa Herod said, if you locate where the king has been born, come and tell me, I will go and worship him. But in the night, the angel of the Lord said to them, don't go. It's a lie. He will not go and wants to, but he wants to kill. Listen, whoever is sugar coating you, but behind the scenes, they want to destroy you. Yandele Kayanda, Yabayaba, Le Kayanda, you will see their dead bodies. You will see their dead bodies. You will see their dead bodies. You will visit their dead bodies. So it's a fire. Fire. Listen, whoever has a contract, Jesus. and with the contracts, it's your name and your loved ones inside of that contract. Jesus. I speak by fire, Jesus. I speak by grace Michael. in the name of Jesus. Michael. Let the God of the testimony city, Jesus. let the God of the Lamwati, let the God of recompense, Jesus. let the God of fire arise and fight for you Jesus. in the name. Of Jesus, fire. Listen, fire. whoever has done something bad in your family before, Jesus. whoever fought your mother, fought your father, right. and right now they are confident in coming after you by the God of tender, Jesus. by the God of fire. Yes, May God strike. Amen. 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 Fire. fire say oh god, oh god. Strike. Strike. strike against my enemies against my enemies destroy, destroy. my enemies my enemies let them fall, let them fall. before me before me so fire. fire sit down sit down sit down sit down sit down after 10 minutes to go 
now let's go to psalm 40 verse 5 psalm 40 verse 5 I want to show you Psalm 140 verse 5. I want to show you the danger part of the Bible. 140 verse of 5. In the name of Jesus. He said, look at it right now. He says, proud men have hidden a snare for me. Which means a trap or a net. They, they, they have spread out the course of their nets. And they have set traps for me along my path. He said, they have set a trap for me along my path. But for Daniel, what is my path? Your path path is the journey of your life in front of you your path is your december your path is your january your path is your tomorrow but in the path of your tomorrow what is the net in front over there he says some men spread that net i declare whoever is part of the spreading of the net I say whoever is part of the spreading hear me listen there's one thing somebody having a net but when they want to go to the sea when they get to the sea they spread it right. anytime they spread it they have an agenda just to catch i declare any spirit of the catcher my god. That wants to catch my god your good news that wants to catch Jesus. your testimony Jesus. that wants to catch your marriage my god. that wants to catch your good health by fire Jesus. by tender yes lord i crush them Amen. i crush them Amen. let it be crushed Amen. let it be crushed Amen. somebody shout crush crush shout crush crush no shout crush no shout crush no Psalm 57 verse of 6 Psalm 57 verse of 6 Are you ready to pray today? Yes They spread a net for my feet mm. I was bowed down in distress mm. So in any time You see a human being bowing down it means a net has been spread anytime you see somebody's life bowing down it means something happened before the bowing down so when your finances begin to bow down your children begin to bow down your marriage begins to bow down don't go after the bowing down go after what is behind the bowing down and that thing is a net now look at it it says they dug a pit in my path but they have fallen into it themselves. Amen. Oh, oh, you don't, you don't, you don't get it. You don't get it. You don't get it. He says, he says, but somebody shout, but it means they can plan, but they will do against you, but they will. Somebody shout, but shout, but he said they dug a pit for me but they have fallen into it themselves i prophesy by grace Jesus. in the pit in front of you let them fall let them fall let them fall let them fall into their own pits say oh god let them fall let them fall into their own pits into their own by fire by fire in the name of jesus the name of Jesus. Say, oh God, oh God, let them fall, let them fall into the same pit. Into the same pit. They have designed for me. Designed for Some me. of these cream and shout. Yeah. Now let's see what some of the things they do against a person. Psalm 31, verse of 16. Psalm 31, verse of 16. It says, It says, Let your face shine on your servants god i know you love me so save me in your unfailing love let's go let's go he says i like this one he says let me not be put to shame oh lord for i have cried out to you let the wicked be put to shame my god and look at it and let them lie silent in their grave amen Oh, oh, you don't get it, 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 you don't get it. Those who get it, you are clapping and shouting. Yeah. I said those who get it, you are clapping and shouting. It's returning to the sender. Amen. 
Let's all read it together. Let's read the last clause. The bats, the let the wicked. Let's all read it many times. Let's go. Listen, anything you read, it sinks into your spirit. Because what responds to a spirit and a soul is worse. So as you read it, it's sinking into your soul. That in the name of Jesus, when anything is done against you, it will bounce back. One, two, three, let's flow. But let the wicked be put to shame mm -hmm. and lie silent in the grave. That's right. But let the wicked be put to shame yeah. and lie silent in the grave. Let's continue. But let the wicked be put to shame yeah. and lie silent in the grave. Again. But let the wicked be put to shame yeah. and lie silent in the grave. Say it so many times. But let the wicked be put to shame and lie silent in the grave. But let the wicked be put to shame and lie silent in the grave. But let the wicked be put to shame and lie silent in the grave. But let the wicked be put to shame and lie silent in the grave. For the last time! But let the wicked be put to shame and lie silent in the grave. Candalabo Satai. My God. Candalabaya. Jesus. I prophesy. Prophesy. This week will not pass. For whoever against you will perish before you. I said, Good, this week is not going to pass for them to perish before you. Somebody saw Jesus. Jesus. They, they shall perish before me. before me. Now, let me show you this thing in the last eight minutes. Anytime something is being carried on, I will work on it more on tomorrow. Tomorrow, let me show some of the things that we work on morning and evening. Sudden impromptu attacks, stopping it, stopping the spirit of Nebuchadnezzar, breaking demonic associations and satanic contracts, demonic networkings, the weapons of God, stopping the monies being paid against you, crushing animals being used to manipulate, using the weapons of God, deploying them. Then in the evening, we will work seriously on breaking and stopping the spirit of wickedness. There's a spirit of wickedness that is called the spirit of Molech. Someone say Molech. Molech. M-O-L-C-E-K-O-H. It's in the Bible. Anytime a king serves the idol of Molech, what they do is that they take their own children or take children and they pass them through fire and they kill them. They can look at a pregnant woman and they cut off the pregnant woman and bring out the baby. When somebody is being influenced by the spirit of Molech, it was an idol that they were worshiping at that time. Although we are not from Moab or we are not serving those idols, there are many people right now in the spiritual realm, they kill children for some time. Am I saying the truth? Yes. So we shall tackle that shadow and that power of wickedness. Now let me tell you this before we pray before any assignment can be carried out against any individual what they begin with is that they begin it with something we call rumors someone say rumors rumors can somebody hear me if you are here and you don't know how to crush rumors it can go against you so example they go for their meeting they plan for somebody's death how can we know that they have planned for somebody's death? They have to cause it to happen. And mind you, what controls our world is worse. Some say worse. Worse. So they begin, all of a sudden, they enter into one person. And that one person begins to speak. Hey, Mr. A, Mr. K, Mr. M, Mr. X, Mr. Z is dead. Although the person is not dead. Then another person will hear, hey, have you heard? That Mr. Z is dead. Then it will be like, no, he's not dead. Oh, she's not dead. No, he's not dead. Then it will go. Within two weeks, there's rumor everywhere. The person is dead. But the person is not dead. It is called satanic rumors. Anytime rumors begin, and you don't crash it, especially about death and distractions, it, it is being planted. And the moment it's planted, it grows. And the moment it grows, it bears fruit. And the moment it bears fruit, it harvests. And whenever it's harvest, it happens. So in this Ghana, we are here. Anytime you hear that they, they are saying rumor about somebody, this person is dead, this person is dead. Give the person few months. The person will do what? Am I saying the truth? Because in the spiritual realm, rumors are the driving force of demonic activities. So when anytime you hear rumor, as a child of God, 
you sit in your closet by your altar then you declare that evil rumor Jesus. wherever it is cooked from you can hear me every rumor is cooked from somewhere that's right and when a rumor is being cooked it is carried by someone and when it's carried by someone it's accepted by a spirit so in the sp in the place of the cooking of the rumor or in the place of the carrier of the rumor jesus. oh my god my god my god by the blood of jesus, jesus. by the spirit of god yes lord i destroy it right now Amen. somebody shall fire fire so let me show you some of the things that rumors also happens in rumors sometimes it might not happen physical but sometimes you'll be sleeping and somebody will come and tell you something in the dream oh this person is dead or you are dead or you come you come in the dream and 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 you see a doctor and a doctor can tell you you are sick am i saying the truth all those things it begins a spiritual rumor and if you don't fight it it comes against the person some 31 verse of 11 and 13 let's flow in the name of jesus because of all my enemies i am the utter contempt of my neighbors I am a dread to my friends. They want to see my face. Those who see me on the street, they run away from me. Why? Let's continue. I am, I am forgotten and I, and I look like a dead person because I'm a broken pottery. That is a pot. Anytime a pot is broken, somebody has to die. That's why we're breaking the pot. That is the bottle. Let's go. Uh -huh, this, is the, this is this. I hear slander of many. There is terror on every side. They conspire against me and plot to take my life. Give me where it talks about rumor, KGV or other translation. Let's see what is the EV right now. Let's go. I have heard, look at it. I have heard the many rumors about me. I am surrounded by terror. Now, because of the rumors, my enemies conspire against me, plotting to take my life. So before they plot, they plot to take your life, they start with a rumor. What is the rumor that has been blown in the atmosphere? Because when they, they, they do anything in the spiritual realm, it can never happen in the physical, not until words carry it from the spiritual realm. And what carries it is words, that is rumors. When they do it, they conspire to take away a life of a person. But tonight, Jesus, May the God of Christians, Jesus, Lama Zandalaba, Yandeleke Baba. I said, May the God of Christians, Jesus, May the God of Christians, yes, Lord, may He crush every assignment. Amen. Somebody shout, Jesus, Jesus, say, Oh God, Oh God, crush it now, crush it now, by fire, by fire. And you hear me? I told you we will do this every day. The Bible says, they will eat their own body and they will drink their own blood let's go let's go isaiah 49 20, 26 nlt let's go look at it right now he says i will feed your enemies with their own flesh and they shall be drunk with their own blood mm -hmm. he says i will feed them hey, hey whoever is looking for your body jesus hey whoever has spy your body and say your body will be sweet at their kitchen in the spiritual realm by the time they are trying your body <laughs> they shall be eating their own body. <laughs> i said they will be eating their own body they shall be drinking their own blood so fire fire say bounce back bounce back now now say bounce back bounce back by fire by fire say bounce back bounce back by the grace of god by the grace of god now we have one side of god is called the god of payback we are seeing it then we pray say payback payback one more time let's go payback jeremiah chapter 51 verse 56 it says a god of retribution the god of payback Babylon, what is Babylon? Babylon was the nation that Nebuchadnezzar was the king. This is the same Babylonians through Nebuchadnezzar who took Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego to put them in fire to kill them. These were young guys around the age of 15, 16 years. 
Nebuchadnezzar came after Israel for them. Nebuchadnezzar. Tomorrow I'll get them to talk about Nebuchadnezzar. Nebuchadnezzar is not a person. Nebuchadnezzar is a spirit. The Babylonian spirit. The Babylonian spirit in the system is a system that depresses you, brings you down, makes sure you lose your wealth, makes sure you lose whatever belongs to you. So God said, hey, Babylon, 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 you have fought Israel for a long time, but payback is coming. And this is what the Lord said. God said, the destroyer will come against Babylon. Her warriors will be captured and their bowels will be broken. For the Lord is a God of retribution. He will pay, he will, he will repay them in full. Amen. So your Babylonian enemy is, God is about to repay them in full. Amen. Oh, you, I can't feel somebody. I can't feel somebody. God is paying them back in full. Before we start to pray, whilst you are here, think about the number of times you have cried. Think about that sometimes of your life you have been in pain. And whilst you are reminiscing about that right now, check who was behind it. Nobody goes through a pain without a behinder. Pause here. Just seller. Let's pause seller. And let's see what is happening. When you read something, get to a time and say, seller. Seller means pause and reflect. Think about what you just read. Think about what you just heard. I know God has blessed you. I know you're a great child of God. But some of the battles you have gone through, pause and think right now. Just one minute. Before we start the warfare prayer. Don't miss any day. Don't miss any day. Just pause and think, pause and think, pause and think, pause and think, pause and think. What have you done? What have you done? What have you done? He says, without cause, they spread the net for me, without cause. At least if there was a cause, at least I would have understood. But without cause. Just because your life is moving forward, somebody say they don't want to see you progress. Why? Why? That in this family, nobody's supposed to make it. Why? Do you want to make it? Why? 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 Without cause. Without cause. Without cause. I says they will fall into their own pits. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. I speak this night. May we not end this conference without you having a testimony. Amen. Never. Amen. It will be a big error. You can't be fasting this week and no. I can't be fasting from August to 31st December without you. Never. It's an error. It's impossible. A lady, a lady is here. She walked in. That lady cried, mom, mom, her baby, or I know, says she left this place to go and stay at Kaneshi. Young lady got married. Few months, the husband died. We're having a holiday service. I think it was a six month holiday or something. She was sitting somewhere on the corner. I was doing fresh timers. So everybody stood up. First timer, yeah, who brought you? Who brought you? So the lady then. The way she's wearing black, the black is too much. Head black, down black, you know that. And she's young, say, young girl, you are young, but why are you wearing black? So I just got married and my husband died. So I stopped the first time and I said, no, I have to know what is happening. I said, and the Lord showed me something. I said to her, the same boy your husband took as a brother, he exchange his death for your husband's death so come and let's pray so she came the next time the lord gave me an instruction i told her go into your husband's closet and as most of you know the story and go into his bag go into his bag then look for only ones of the of the shirt your husband has that the color is color hot wow you remember get a yellow color t-shirt and bring it to me she brought up put all you on it i said take it pray do this direction after that burn it there's a guy very very close to your sister even she's the one he he's the one standing in as, as a husband for you now sister he's the one behind it 
and something will happen. I said, before your husband died, what time? He said, prophet, before my husband died, he was doing well, he was good. Then he had this good, he has taken as a nephew, brother, everything. Then the guy was there one night, the other guy was there one night, the guy was saying that he's not feeling well. So the guy, the husband said, because you are not feeling well in your house, don't worry, I have to come to my house. So the guy who is sick came to live in their house, the next day the guy became well. That night is when the sister's husband died. They know that there was an exchange. He brought the t-shirt, we prayed on it, did the direction. The day she bent the t-shirt, the guy was lying. He said, since, since, since she started the direction, anytime the guy sees her now, the guy will not greet her again. A person who has represented the husband. The day she bent it, the guy was there. The same thing that happened to the husband. Hey, my head, my head, my head. I will say, I will say, I will say it. Say, say, say. The guy they didn't say. They rushed him. The guy died. It's called return to sender. I declare by fire. Jesus. The same pain they have caused you. Let the same pain be on your feet. Lift up your hands. We are about to pray. Chat this prayer. Walk everywhere. Is that okay? We have spaces here. Walk everywhere. Walk everywhere. I think maybe even from tomorrow we can be working on the compound. Lift up your right hand. We are about to lift up serious prayers. Yesterday I asked you a question. Yesterday I preached a sermon that made everybody angry over here about how a king was killed by his right hand man hazel killed who 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 ben haddad hazel killed ben haddad he took he went to ben haddad's house he took a handkerchief put it in water put it on the king's face and the king died then this the thing that make, makes it very crazy and hazel succeeded him if you want to succeed me, why don't you wait for me to die at my original time? Then you succeed. But here's what I want to succeed early. Some people want to take something from you early. He killed him and succeeded him early. This is your first prayer. Whoever Jesus has to die for you to be free. And the Bible says, when Jesus and the parents were in Egypt, a word came that Herod is dead. So go back. So if Herod had not been dead, Jesus would, have, would never have gotten back to Israel. And can you to Africa? But I thank God that Jesus was protected in Africa, Egypt. Africans, we protected Jesus. I believe God wanted to keep Jesus there, but to fulfill prophecy, he's supposed to be in Israel. Jesus was protected in Africa. Africa know how to protect the gospel. We know how to protect the gospel, but we don't know how to create wealth. Ah, lift up your right hand. Say by fire. By fire. In the Herod. In the Herod. In the Hazel. In the Hazel. That wants my life. That wants my life. Why? Why? Whoever, whoever is holding the nets is holding the net whoever whoever is carrying the nets is carrying the net against me against, against me to drop me in to drop me in whoever whoever knows anything knows anything about my pain about my pain whoever whoever has carried carry my information my information for my demise for my demise and is waiting and is waiting for confirmation for confirmation by fire by, by fire. fire i come after you i come after you let the god of tender let the god of, tender, let the god of fire let the god of fire crush you now crush you somebody now. clap once and pray let's pray right now by fire by authority move about walk about walk about walk about walk about Somebody walk about. <laughs> 